Hi everyone, I'm Marcella and this is my first sit down video. I decided to make a video showing you all what I spend in a week. I work and live in downtown Los Angeles and this is kind of just like a normal week. I didn't really try to spend more or like spend less this week. I just recorded everything I tracked and um, yeah, thought it'd be interesting. Monday through Friday, I work a normal like nine to five-ish. So Monday morning, I walk to work. It's just a 10 minute walk for me and it is free. So I'm, I'm really thankful to close to my office because a big part of living in LA is commuting and I did not want to do um, any sort of long commute. So zero dollars in 10 minutes and I'm at work. Um, actually, I did stop by Target, which is in between here and work. I wanted to get something for my desk. I was trying to find some uh, succulents, but I could only find the fake ones, which I didn't want. So I found flower arrangement, a mason jar, which is so basic, I know, but um, I decided to buy that because it was the only thing I could find at Target, and it was um, $10.94. So that was my first expense. Usually, my expenses for breakfast and lunch are $0. I get free lunch at work every day, so I don't spend anything on lunch, I just ate at the office. Later that afternoon, I went to go grab coffee with my coworkers. We do this pretty much every day just because it's like a nice uh, escape and a favorite coffee shop as you'll see it's here in downtown los angeles and it's called andante coffee and if you haven't been and you're nearby you must go um so my coffee that day costed or cost <laughs> uh four dollars and fifty cents so as it does usually i think every day depends on the guy because some of them give me give us discounts because they let me go there so often but that day was four dollars and fifty cents after work I went to the gym. I think the gym would be my other like huge expense for the month. This month was my first month at this particular gym um, and it is quite pricey. I paid a $300 initiation fee and a $150 per month fee. So my total for this month for that gym was $450, but moving forward it's only $150 a month. But I'm not including that in the total just because I think it's more of like not a weekly expense. It's kind of like just a general utility. But I did want to include in this vlog because I do go to the gym pretty much. Uh, I try to go four to five, if not more, times a week, and it is a big part of my life. Um, and then later that night, just like chilled and cooked with my roommate, um, had dinner at home, so dinner was zero dollars. Moving forward to Tuesday, I again I walk at work, I ate lunch at work, I did go get coffee again, so that's four dollars and fifty cents. I went um, to the gym and I went home and cooked dinner. So my only expense on Tuesday was the $4.50 for the coffee, uh, which is pretty good, I think. Um, I should probably eliminate that coffee expense, but you'll see if I went every day this week. Moving forward to a Wednesday, I did again walk to work, went to the gym before work. Um, I did go get coffee again, but today the cashier rang both of our coffee orders up on the same thing, so my friend paid for it. So I didn't pay anything for coffee that day. After work, I went to get dinner. We grabbed sushi. I think sushi in LA is kind of like not really value. I think I've had um, sushi in other cities like in New York or San Francisco and I think I've had better experiences. But anyway, for the sushi dinner that I showed you, the total was 80, we just split it in half and I paid 40. Um, after that, I did go to a board game cafe, which by the way, freaking amazing idea. I'm obsessed with board games and uh, if I could live in that cafe, I totally would. They had cake, they had pizza, and they had board games. And really, I don't know what else you could possibly want in life. Um, but anyway, the board game cafe was $5 a person. I didn't pay anything for that. My friend got me, but it was only five bucks, so pretty cheap. We played Codenames Duet and took it to ride. Anyway, freaking love the board game cafe. So moving forward to Thursday, Thursday was again kind of a normal day. We did go get coffee again after lunch. This time I did pay for both me and my friends' order just because they got me the day before and the total for that was $9.45. And then after work I needed to pick up some groceries because I literally had nothing left in my fridge and I wanted to cook that night so I went to Ralph's. Unfortunately did not film any of it because uh, I literally just like when I get to grocery stores, I forget everything else and I wander around for like two hours being overwhelmed and like thinking about all the different dishes I can cook and then I end up just getting the same ingredients. Anyway, I always have big plans, but it never works out. <laughs> um, I spent $53.17 on groceries. Um, and then I did Uber home because I didn't want to walk home because it was kind of late and the bags were kind of heavy. So I Ubered home and it was $6.40. Moving on to Friday. Um, thing, nothing unusual, went to the gym, um, went to work afterwards, and 
um, did go get <laughs> coffee, are we surprised? Uh, did go get coffee again after lunch for, again, $4.50. After work on Friday, um, I, even though I did grocery shopping the day before, I did forget some things and I really wanted to make a bolognese. So I went to Target, popped in really quick, got some ground beef, some bell peppers, and I ran out of cotton pads that I used to remove my makeup. But I grabbed some of those too, <clears throat> and the total for that was $15.42. Okay, BRB, I'm gonna go get some water because my throat is dying. Pulled it all over my phone. I'm literally a mess. Anyway, all right, back to it. On Saturday, my friends decided to go on a hike. I love hikes because they're free, you work out while doing them, and they're fun. It was a really nice view. It was a very hot day, but it was a really nice view, so that was completely free and a lot of fun. And then I did come home to a package. I'll show you guys. Hi, it's Saturday and I just came back from my hike and I realized that I got a package and I totally forgot that I didn't log any of my online purchases this week. But anyway, I ordered a bunch of jeans from Levi's, which I will try on right now. I ordered four pairs. One, two pairs are like the same one but in different sizes, so I think I'm gonna end up returning one of those, but let's hopefully they work out because I really need new jeans. Okay, here we so this is the first pair. I think they're really cute. I think I'm gonna exchange them for a shorter size because they do kind of extend a little bit too long. Okay, this is the second pair and I guess you can really tell how dirty my mirror is from this because uh, they're just black jeans and you can see the dirt all over it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these as well because these fit perfectly. This is the last pair of pants that I got. You can't really tell because but they're like this maroon color and um, I'm obsessed with the fit. So I like I'm totally gonna keep these ones. Total of that was $272, but I will be returning one pair of these ones. So the total should be 272 minus 55, which is around $220. One other thing I forgot to include was that um Tart was actually having a sale earlier this week and I actually did place an order and the total for that order came out to $68.99. I do most of my shopping online because I don't have a car and it's pretty hard in LA to shop if you don't have a car because things are far apart. And so yeah, with with the Levi's and the Tarte order, I think that like bumped up my total. But like I mentioned, I do do most of my shopping online and that is pretty normal for me. I do factor that into my budget. And then on Saturday night, I decided to go over to a friend's house and then we went out around their house. I Ubered there and I Ubered back home. First one was $5.55 and the second one was $8.93. So moving on to Sunday. In the morning, I went to a volunteering orientation. I started volunteering at this like doggy cafe, which is like an amazing concept because we have a cafe, but while you're at this cafe, you can play with rescue dogs and dogs that are up for adoption. And I love coffee, as you can tell from this video, and I love dogs and combining the two is just like a brilliant idea. So anyway, Uber there and Uber back. So that was $6.74 for the Uber there and $4.83 for my Uber home. And then when I came home, I decided uh, my roommate is in town and she's rarely here, so I decided to spend time with her. We went to this restaurant called Mama Lou's because we were both craving dim sum or like Chinese food. So we went to Mama Lou's and ordered so much food. You can see by this clip, like literally so much food. Um, and it cost $18.94 for just my portion. So after that, we decided to get some boba. We went to Half and Half and I got a passion fruit green tea with boba that cost $5.56. We did Uber there and Uber back. So my Uber there was $4.35 and my Uber back was $5.05. And I think that concludes my week. I don't think I'll be doing anything else tonight. I'm just gonna be chilling at home, cook dinner and um, go to bed. <laughs> um, so my total for the week was $497.82. So basically like $500 for the week. This does seem like a lot of money, but I do think most of it is well spent. Most of it except for the coffee. Yikes. I do spend a lot of money on like Uber and coffee. I think those are kind of like my biggest expenses outside of the ones that I can anticipate. Um, Uber I think is entirely justified just because I don't own a car and in LA that means you do have to Uber everywhere because we don't have a good public transportation system. So I do Uber just to get around with friends and stuff but I don't mind too much just because I don't have like 
insurance or car payments or anything and I even just parking in my building is like a hundred dollars a month I think so so I'm okay with like paying for Ubers just to get around and for the coffee again it's like something I let I treat myself with it definitely can be cut out and I could save a few, like a few dollars there but um but I, I guess I just like treat myself I usually like the work day after lunch you get kind of like sad and just like want to go home but coffee just is like a nice pick me up overall this is pretty normal um, thank you for watching. This is a lot of fun to make and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye bye now.